Hey guys, it's Leah again, and today I have a, like, not haul or tutorial, but like, products that I think you really need if you have oily skin. And if you're anything like me and you have oily skin, then you know that it is almost impossible to find products to stay on your skin all day without running or without coming off or having like shininess spots all over your face or having to retouch up or having to touch up your makeup and it can be a real pain in the butt. Um, so today I have gathered together a couple of products that I think would really help you if you have oily skin. So I'm going to get into it. First, my absolute favorite product that I have to wear under any sort of face makeup is the Sephora Anti-Shine Primer. And this compares to the Smashbox um, primer because it has the same sort of consistency. It's very like clear, but see that? It kind of, it looks like toothpaste on the camera, but I swear it doesn't look like that in person. But you put it on and it is like a very thin, thin film that just keeps your pores like from getting oily. <laughs> And um, I think that if you wear this under any sort of face makeup, it really helps to keep the makeup on all day. But um, if you don't have that, then good makeup that stays on is, is the Physician's Formula um, Multicolored Custom Face Powder. And I have actually gone through this so much that it it's actually cracked and like dying. And my skin is not oily for at least a good 8 hours from wearing that. Um, another good product that is a powder is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder, which I am basically out of because I wear this every single day and it keeps my face looking matte and not oily at all. Another product that you might want to consider is the NYX Matte Blotting Paper. And you can actually get blotting sheets at Forever 21 or like from Bobbi Brown or all these other places, but NYX has really good and expensive ones and they work like a charm. The only thing is I don't like using blotting papers because when I use them I just kind of get disgusted with like the amount of oil that is on my skin. So I mean you can use them if you really need to have them like if you're going out on a date or something and you want to make sure that your skin stays matte. Another primer and it's number seven shine free primer and stop shine for a matte finish and it's hypoallergenic and this is actually from Target and this is in a better price range because this is ten dollars as opposed to the Sephora one which is thirteen dollars so if you want something that's good under makeup then I definitely recommend this and also, this is very thick when you put it on, so you have to be kind of careful when you apply it because if you put too much in one area, then it's going to look like you have toothpaste on your face. So really make sure that you blend it in before you go out. Another essential that I think that every person with oily skin, oily eyelids, oily anything needs is the Urban Decay Primer Potion because this under any eyeshadow will make it so that it won't budge. It will not budge for the entire day. It will not crease. This is the absolute best primer for my eyes that I have ever used. I mean, my MAC Paint Pots, I love them, and I know that for some people with oily skin, they don't work that well because they do crease on some people, but for me, I haven't found that problem. To me, they can be com um, comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. The only thing that I really like about the Urban Decay Primer Potion, more so than the MAC Paint Pots, is the fact that it is so thin. It goes on very smoothly. I like the original one because I can wear it under any eyeshadow and it will stay put. MAC Paint Pots, also very good if you have oily skin because they are another um, shadow won't budge sort of product. And another thing that is very comparable to the MAC Paint Pot is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And I have these in two colors. I have uh, Toughest Taupe and Bad to the Bronze. And these have like the exact same texture as a MAC Paint Pot and they are absolutely amazing. They have great color pigmentation and the quality of them is basically exactly the same as a MAC Paint Pot. And I think they're even cheaper by like a few dollars. So if you don't feel like going to MAC and you can't buy high-end and you want to just buy a drugstore, then definitely, definitely, definitely pick up the Maybelline Color Tattoos. Another, another, <laughs> nutter butter. Another perfect thing that I like to use all the time is my Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And the flower does not come with it. The flower is actually from a Lancome uh, perfume tester, but I like the way it looks because it picks up the color of the bottle. Um, this stuff, if you just spray, it says two to four times, I do three because I do one side, center, and then the other side. 
your makeup will not budge, your skin will not become oily, and it is just absolutely amazing and everything looks like the way it looked when you put it on in the morning. The product that is great is the Lancome Paris Blush Paper. And basically what this is, is it's just a whole thing of little papers that are blushes. And this is what one looks like, and I actually reused them, which is why this one's folded up all, like, weirdly. Um, so this is what they look like, and you just rub them onto your face, and it's like having blush right there on a piece of paper. And these are great for oily skin because they go on easily, they stay on the entire day, and they're just very easy to apply and they don't rub off. My last product that is great for oily skin is Bobbi Brown Blush Rose cream blushes or in this case really any any sort of cream blush because once you apply a cream blush it is on your cheeks and it is staying put it is not coming off even if you sweat usually cream blushes do not run off obviously you're going to have to go for better quality cream blushes in order for them to stay on but i guarantee that even like the bouncy blushes even if you have those those will probably stay on because the consistency of them is like it attaches to your skin and it stays there so those are all of my products for people with oily skin and I'm sorry that I've been fixing my hair the entire time but I put a lot of conditioner into it and it's very silky and it just keeps moving down. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, this little pointers uh, this little pointers video on products for oily skin and if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to either message me or comment below. I have other products but I felt that those were like the top 13 products that I love to use because my skin is oily and I don't really like touching my skin up during the day because I really don't feel a need for it because I'm like a one day sort of girl like I will put on my makeup in the morning and however it looks at the end of the day is how it's staying because I don't have the patience to constantly apply makeup apply makeup and also it's bad for you if you like keep applying over sweaty skin so that's another little pointer um, especially if you have oily skin so, those are all of my products. I hope that you guys liked the video, and I know this is like the third time that I've probably said that, but I'm definitely going to go this time, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!